kitchen this morning with Cindy Lou. Can I call you Cindy Lou? Absolutely. Know. You know, I haven't been told that since I was five years old. Sometimes I just come up with it. these things. <laughs> or Cindy, of course, with Bodies by Cindy, one of our favorite chefs to have in. And this morning, we're making something Roasted with ca cauliflower. Cauliflower. Now, this could be a side item. It could be a lunch. Yes. It could be all kinds of things. You know, actually, um, one of y'all's producers came through when I was setting up, and they were like, you made me like cauliflower because of the last time that I made it. We did, um, we made it almost like you're eating chicken wings. Yeah. Okay. So cauliflowers is one of those. I remember the remember. chicken. I Everybody remember the chicken. It. Yeah. They were really good. So cauliflower is one of those very versatile uh, vegetables that you can, I mean, you can make mashed potatoes. You can do mm. a lot of different things and incorporate it into your regular meals and get the kids mm -hmm. to like it and this is one that you've actually we're gonna put Parmesan cheese on it oh. um, that is one way to get kids to eat vegetables now Cindy you're gonna have to make those mashed potatoes you mentioned for I me at, at some point but you brought up a very good point parents are always trying to get kids to eat their vegetables why not trick them Exactly right. And a lot of times they won't even notice. Okay. If they see you in the kitchen making it, they're yeah. going to go, ooh, gross, and yeah. they don't want to eat it. But I promise you, add a little Parmesan cheese on it, the whole family is going to love it. All right. So the best thing about Cindy's recipes, I tell you time and time again, is that they're easy steps. There's not a lot of ingredients, and it doesn't take a long time to cook. So let's talk about the ingredients that's going into this. This one is really easy. So um, again, the Parmesan cheese, um, I just smashed up about three or four cloves of garlic. Okay. And we're using olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. And we're gonna throw it in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes at 425, and it's simple. Now, is there a trick to cooking cauliflower? Can you cook it too little, and can you cook it too long? You know, it, it, no, not really, because you could eat it raw, so it's okay. okay. You know, um, I like it a little bit more burnt okay. tasting. You know, of course, if you zap out all the nutrients, that's usually what happens when you cook it too hard. Um, but when we roast it, it does give it a different flavor yeah. than like if you're sauteing it in a skillet or if you're eating it raw. Now, I'm gonna see you cut this because uh, I, I cut things. put so much pressure on me. I cut things in the kitchen. They're not always pretty. Yes. So how do you cut your cauliflower? Well, usually what I'll start doing, like I've already broke away a lot of the root, and then I'll just kind of, you see like there's a, a divide in there, mm -hmm. and I'll go ahead and just make a deep cut, and then it's pretty messy, so I'll just kind of see how it separates there. Right. And so I'll start just kind of making little slices in it. Okay. And these knives are not that great here, so don't judge me on my cooking, on <laughs> my slicing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just start breaking away. Okay. okay. And then you want to cut it up into, you know, maybe little slices like this. Okay. And then we're just going to lay it out on a, on a sheet like okay. here. So we'll mix it in. Um, that, that'll be next. We're going to just mix everything in together, throw in our um, sea salt and black pepper, and then we'll be ready to put it on the um, oven sheet. All right. Well, Joe, we'll do that coming up in the next cooking segment. Again, you can check out this recipe online, foxcintv.com, under the Studio 10 tab. Lots of fun stuff yes. going on at Bodies by Cindy. We just taped three different workout segments. Really good ones so that I'm excited really about. It was really good. And you, you're getting getting better and better at each fitness segment. And getting better with tires. Yes, guys. <laughs> we taped another tire segment that will be coming up That's soon right. on Studio 10. But again, lots of people signing up for the summer. Yeah. You know what? It's actually, June was our busiest month ever in business. And like I that. think finally people are getting the idea that, hey, you know, just because it's summer doesn't mean it's time to lay out of the gym. So that's really what's most important is it's consistency. Right. You know, keep it going. And it's a, it's a lifestyle. Absolutely. And we're going to hear more about that. Also, we're going to continue with this recipe coming up. We are back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Cindy Ross from Bodies by Cindy. I love cauliflower. I love Parmesan cheese. I love everything about what you're making today. Yes. Tell the folks, what are we calling this dish? It's actually just roasted cauliflower. Super easy, and it's something to get the kids to like because it's a vegetable, and kids usually turn their nose up at it. The kids have a tough time with they vegetables. They do. They that's do. That's for sure. So if you can make them delicious like we're doing today, it would greatly help. Exactly right. So um, I just did actually used organic cauliflower, and that's why it has a little bit of brown on it, but it's all good. It's healthier for you. And um, super simple, uh, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, garlic, salt, and pepper. That's it. All right. That yeah. sounds super good. Easy. So what do we need to do in this segment? Here? Okay. So all we're doing is we're going to dump this in. I already have my olive oil. It's about four tablespoons of olive oil, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. and we're just going to mix this in. We're going to get a little messy. Get all the good stuff on there. Yes. All those seasonings and flavors and all that kind of exactly stuff. Exactly right. And you're just going to mix it up, and, and you can do it in a... You could use a Ziploc bag if you wanted 
to you, toss it around, and mm -hmm. or you can just use a large bowl. Sure. In the meantime, tell the folks a little bit about what's going on with Bodies by Cindy. Well, we are still holding our kids' summer camp, and that's going really well. Um, I think the actual parents like it more than the kids do, just because they're like, oh, I can work out while my kids are doing something. It's and such that's a so great, great idea. Yeah, and so it's something hopefully that will continue in the fall as well, and um, a lot of kids are doing it to actually get ready for the sports season in the oh, fall, yeah. and, they're, and they're getting a lot stronger. And um, of course, we had our busiest month um, that we've ever had at Bodies by Cindy in June, which is usually our slowest month, but I was telling Tassie earlier, I think it's finally catching on that, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a lifestyle, and you got to do it every single month, and just because that summer is no excuse to lay out. Are you working out this summer, Joe? Uh, I'm, mm. I'm starting to. <laughs> Today. We're like after the seg after the segment I'm starting to work out. <laughs> We're like midsummer. <laughs> I know. It's never too late to start. I have you know, the biggest problem for me is time and I think a lot of people share that. Uh, with all the things that we do and the little ones and stuff, timing is the most difficult thing. So I need to work on that. But I also need to work on eating healthier. Yes. Which is why I'm glad you're making this because I definitely am going to try this recipe at home. We hope you do too. It will be on our Studio Ten website shortly. And in the meantime, once you get all that on there, what What's the next step? So we're going to throw it in the oven at mm -hmm. 425 for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay. And again, you cannot undercook it or over, oh, you can't overcook it. I guess you could burn it, but you know, you can eat cauliflower raw. So don't worry about undercooking it. It's okay. just going to be to your preference. All right. So about okay. 25, 30 minutes is pretty safe. Yes. And see, look. I'm already starting oh, yeah, see, the workout. Do, what about squats? Right here on uh, the yeah, set. Absolutely. If I can do some. If I, all right. We'll, we'll work on that later. We will. All right. I'll, I'll give you some moves. And looking forward to trying that out as well. We'll be back in a little while with Cindy Ross. Thank you. We're finishing up our cauliflower here in the kitchen. But first, before we get it out of the oven, you were just telling my mom, actually, yes. that you have a lot of online classes. My mom lives in Baldwin County yes. and was talking about not being able to drive over to your place here on Airport Boulevard. But now you can go anywhere because of your online classes. That's exactly right. You know, for years we've been trying to figure out how can we help people all over the world because we meet them traveling and teaching fitness. So about three years ago we started working on these videos and um, we have about 400 Whoa. actually like workouts. And so, so my mom can get a good workout. Yes. She's got to be ready. So it's almost <laughs> like a workout of the day. You'll be able to pop on our website and um, I'll give you special privileges for your mom, but you have to be a client <laughs> to get these for free. Okay. And um, But it's, it is really a cool aspect of it because a lot of times you know, maybe you're not personal training, um, you know, with a, a specific trainer. You right. kind of fumbling through the gym. You don't know what to do. So now you have a workout of the day, and you can just follow along with one of our trainers or myself. And speaking of, we just taped three different uh, workout segments with you. Another tire segment is coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned to Studio 10. Tire Take 3, is that what we're That's, calling yes. it? Yes. Tire Take 3. We're going to, like, keep this going. I, I got all kinds of workouts on the tires. Which kind of scares me. But yes. and um, Tassie, I'm getting, better. And, and I'm getting you, better with the tires. <laughs> Kind of called me out today, so I got a really good workout for you coming up. Oh, good. Well, we'll move quickly past that and onto the cauliflower, which you're pulling out yes. of the oven. I'm kind of scared when it she says that. It smells amazing. It does. And this is just something that you can make for the kids. Uh, again, trying to get them to eat their vegetables. It's a good way to trick them. Yeah, and you know, I mean, make a little side of hummus with this, and that way you're getting your protein. It's going to have a lot of flavor. It's going to be full of fibers. It's going to keep you full for a yeah. long time and you know it's great to bag up and take to work with you the next day so uh, I have a lot of people that are always saying what's well, a great snack for yeah. me to eat while I'm at my desk this is awesome this would be a snack this could be a lunch this could be a side item for dinner absolutely anything absolutely. it's very and versatile now have we put the parmesan on already it's on already of course I should have known Joe already took care yes. of the cheese yes he I was pretty known. excited about that he was like I love everything out here <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't steal that big old thing of Parmesan. But if you want to get this recipe for yourself, it's online, fox10tv.com. Under the Studio 10 tab, also be sure to check out Cindy's website, where, again, you can get those online videos and tons of other things. That's exactly right. Check us out, and we're right behind Mosley's on Airport 4674. And be sure to stay tuned. Tire Take 3, coming soon. <laughs>